Okay, kids, let me tell you why I brought you here today. I want to bless you if you can just complete a very simple exercise. All you have to do is go up to the top of the steps, and if you can do that, I'll take you to the local store and you can pick out whatever candy you want. Okay, kids, come on up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the rules. You can't touch the stairs or the railing with any part of your body. I got this. <laughs> Dad, it's impossible. Kids, there is a way. Why don't you pray and ask God? Dear God, please, please help us find a way to get this candy. Yes, God, the chocolate, the chocolate. Kids, a little advice. Why don't you stop asking for the candy and ask for wisdom like the Bible teaches us to do? Dear God, please give us wisdom. Dad, Will you come down and carry me? Sure thing, Grace. Dad, will you carry me too? Absolutely. Okay, kids, let's go get some candy. Yay! Jesus said that we have to accept the kingdom of heaven like a little child, or we can't enter it at all. This is my son, Reese. He's four years old. Can you say hi, Reese? Jesus wants us to accept the kingdom of heaven like Reese does. What does that mean? What does it mean to accept the kingdom of heaven like a child? Well, first of all, I think it means trust and sometimes blind trust. You know, Reese trusts me sometimes recklessly. I'll be walking up the stairs and he'll be on a higher step and he'll just throw himself at me and, you know, I'll have to catch him. And, you know, he trusts me fully. I think another part of accepting the kingdom of heaven like a child is weakness, you know, especially the younger a child is, the weaker the child is. And I think that's part of how God wants us to accept the kingdom of heaven. You know, God said to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You know, if we don't recognize our weakness, we'll never reach out for help. You know, a, a, a man who doesn't think he's drowning will never reach out for a lifesaver. Jesus said, I didn't come for the healthy, I, I came for the, the sick. I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. And Jesus wants us to recognize our weakness because that's the doorway to recognizing his sufficiency and his grace. You know, I have a friend who's a pastor and he, he really has a great understanding of God's grace. And he had a guy come into him one time and he said, Pastor, I'm just, I'm so hopeless. I'm trying to fix myself. I'm trying to get my life together. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so hopeless. And my friend said, you're not hopeless enough. He said, what do you mean? And he told the guy, well, as long as you're trusting in yourself, you ain't hopeless enough. So why don't you go away and come back and talk to me again when you're really hopeless. You know, I think that's, that's such an important understanding of being, you know, grace-centered, cross-centered, Christ-centered people. Because we literally make the cross of Christ meaningless in our lives. Paul says you empty the cross of its power when you trust in your own works, when you trust in your own strength. And that's Reese's way of saying, amen, dad. You know, in Matthew chapter five and verse three, Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What does this mean? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Well, if that's a secret to the kingdom of heaven, we better understand what being poor in spirit means. That word poor is the same Greek word used for beggar. What's a beggar do? What's, what's a beggar like? 
A beggar is someone who recognizes the poverty of their own condition and they depend upon someone outside of themselves to meet their needs. Well, Jesus said, blessed are, blessed are the poor or the beggars in spirit. Blessed are those who recognize the spiritual bankruptcy and spiritual poverty that they have without Christ. Theirs is the kingdom. See, the doorway to understanding grace is understanding our own, our own need, our own depravity, our own sin nature, the, the, the depths of weakness that we have without Christ. That's the doorway. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Are you hopeless enough today? Are you poor in spirit? If you are, I've got a message for you. Jesus saves. I've got a message for you. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It's a an understanding, a revelation of our helplessness, a revelation of, of our own sin, of our own need and weakness that leads us to the cross, makes us cross-centered, Christ-centered people depending upon the grace of God to be our means, to meet our need for all things. Let me pray for you today. Lord, I pray if there's anybody that's watching this video today, Lord, that really recognizes that they're helpless, recognizes their need of you. I pray, Lord, that the glory of the cross would just burn before them. And Lord, they'd hear that, that glorious echo after our understanding of being poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So Father, I just pray the kingdom would come to them today. Your strength, your spirit, your power, your life, your forgiveness, your mercy. Lord, that they'd be new creations. Their situations would be new as they depend upon you. You demonstrate the power of the cross in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that your grace is sufficient for us. Your power is made perfect in weakness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks for watching today.